Number 87, letter A. An inductor is designed to filter high frequency noise from power supply to a personal computer is placed in series with the computer. What minimum inductance should it have to produce a 2 kilo ohm reactance for 15 uh, kilohertz noise? So letter A, let's just write down what we know, right? Or what we're being asked. What minimum inductance? So L, they want us to find L. Produce a 2 kilo ohm reactance, right? So Reactance, this is the inductive reactance. So this is now two kilo ohms, but you know we're gonna need that in ohms, so just multiply by 10 to the third. Then it also tells us now the frequency, right? Because frequency is in hertz. So we need to convert that though, 15 times 10 to the third. Okay, the question is now, how are these things related? Oh, right, simply related via this formula that the uh, reactive inductance is going to be equal to two pi times the frequency of oscillation multiplied by the inductance itself. So simply divide this on out and notice, here we go. We got our answer, right? Basically, just plug it in now. Two times 10 to the third, all divided by two pi times that frequency of 15 times 10 to the third is equal to L. You know, you can simplify this if you wanted. Technically, we didn't need to do the conversions there, but that's just because they were the same units. But, you know, I don't like to memorize that. So this is just 2 divided by 2 pi times n15. You can even cancel the 2. You know, you can keep reducing this, whatever you need to do. All right, but let's just calculate now. So this is basically going to be 1 divided by pi times 15. <clears throat> and this will work out to be 2.5. 0.12 times 10 to the minus 2 now, Henry's. That is the inductance. All right? So that is letter A. Now let's take a look at part B. It says, what is its reactance at 60 hertz? So they're asking about the inductive reactance, okay, or the reactive inductance. So we need this formula, right, again, that there's going to be 2 pi times the frequency times the inductance. We already found the inductance here, so we're going to just basically plug that on in. Okay, so this is now going to be 2 pi times the new frequency of 60 hertz multiplied by then 2.12 times 10 to the minus 2. I'm going to use the exact value though when I do the calculation. All right, so there's going to be now 2 pi times 60 times then that exact answer from before. And this works out to be basically almost exactly on the dot 8. Okay, um, and uh, yeah, the units here are ohms. Okay, because like I said, it's basically like a resistance. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Hope this video helps. If it does, give us a hand. Like and subscribe, all right? Really, it really helps the channel out tremendously. And uh, we totally can appreciate it if you can uh, just, you know, hit those buttons. Thanks. thanks.